So here you go, Mike. There's your trailer. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit on it. You can see the lights. The reflection off the wall is in the back. Um, all good to go. Uh, see, uh, I'll give you a little overview of what I've done here, and uh, you can let me know what you think and what you want me to do from here. Because um, there's some adjustments that need to be made. Uh, well, actually, it's all ready to go. I just need to I get it get it to the um, once I get it to the uh, 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 the post office and find out what the shipping's going to be for it, uh, then I'll know uh, a final price for you. So I put some tie downs on on all of the points here. Um, uh, the battery pack's already on. It's all good to go. I'm not going to ship it with the batteries. You said you got double A's, so. Uh, it takes four double A's for the lights. Um, the lights at this point are perfect. I don't know how these LEDs are going to hold up. You'll have to give me some feedback on it. Make sure you let me know how they hold up. I want to know how everything holds up. So um, you got your paint scheme. Uh, as you can see, they're all silver here. I got a silver. Your uh, uh, bed is silver. It's all trimmed out in white. It is... Um, uh, the bottom is black. Uh, the back of the trailer is white. It just, everything just seemed to go best that way. So you can see the silver. I don't know if the camera will do it justice, um, but uh, but it looks really sharp. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, that's this is the one big thing. I put nice big wheel, um, nice big uh, brand new meaty tires on it. I'll grab my Revo. This is what it looks like. This is what it'll look like attached to your Revo. So here's what you got. Let me widen it, widen it out again. Okay. So here's what you got. I'm gonna turn this off. It seems like it's a little too much. Um, you know, uh, once you get some weight. Uh, I, my Revo doesn't have any batteries in it, so once it starts driving, it's going to flatten out. Especially when you put your when you put your uh, bandit on here, uh, the the distance I, I went uh, with the uh, stock bandit measurements off of the Traxxas site, and um, what I came up with was 250 uh, 250 millimeters in between. So this is. Um, Ten and a half inches in between the the tie downs. The bed or the um, the silver where the silver is is ten inches. So your tires should fit perfectly on the the bed. Um, let's see what else can I tell you. Oh, the tires. I the little tires. The uh, the slash tires. You can see how much smaller the slash tires are. And I put them on. You know, I had them on the other one. Um, but for, for your for your Revo, I just figured that these would look better. Uh, they cost me a little more money, but I'm just going to kind of throw them in as a as a thank you for um, for you know business that you brought me. Um, let's see what else can I tell you. Four batteries, uh, LEDs obviously all functional. It's pretty much all ready to go. Your tie downs will be in there. Um, the only question I have at this point is. Do you want the wheel wells? Because the wheel wells for the bigger tires are a pain. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be straight with you. It's gonna take me a while to figure out how to make wheel wells for the bigger tires. So I've gotten some opinions back that as it is, it's cool. Just leave it. Don't even worry about the wheel wells. I will be in the process of trying to figure out wheel wells for the bigger tires because I have a, I have more of the wee bigger tires and I can get the bigger tires relatively cheap. Um, this is another uh, this is another um, uh, uh, rim that I have but this this offset is really really wide so it would stick out even farther. I find that these um, these rims that I put on there um, are perfect. If you want you can get um, the Traxxas um, offsets and that'll sit closer to the trailer right now. There's about looks like there's about a um, half inch of uh, of um, distance between um, the trailer 
and the and the inside of the wheel so it's got plenty of clearance so it won't rub on the trailer on the side of the trailer i don't know if you can put an offset different offset in there and bring it a little bit closer you can see um so what did i do with those wheel wells um i brought down the wheel wells that i was going to put on it but they're just they're awful they're um really flimsy they uh, oh here they are right here so here's the Here's the wheel wells that I was looking for. So it's there. You see how flimsy they are. And they'll, it'll go on there. Um, but um, but you know, even if I trim it up and make it look decent, you know, you, it's it's you know, it's going to be flimsy. I just don't know that you would want me to put that, those on again. That it's going to take me a while to figure that out. I figured that the the um, container that I used to make these wheel wells would work out okay but it's just not a very stiff material. It's not a very stiff plastic. So, um, uh, you know, if you want me to, you want me to modify these, I can try and modify these, trim them up and just, and just rivet them on to the side of the trailer. And you'll have the wheel wells if that's what you want. If you want me to do that, um, painting them, undercoating them, all that other stuff is going to take more time. I'm not going to be able to get it in the, in the mail by then. Um, I think you should just leave it as is, uh, let me know what you think and uh, get back to me when you can.